Welcome back, we are doing the recording of 10th of November's Gothic Blessing. Now, here we need to understand one thing. What we feed to our mind on a daily basis is going to decide exactly what's going to go and become a program or an application in your intellect. Now, it's just like feeding a few commands onto your computer and you create a program. That's how Windows 10 was designed, that's how Android was designed, and that's how you design yourself. Exactly, that's how you design your mind. So it's very important to have a spiritual guidance. It's very important to feed ourselves on a daily basis and that too early in the morning, something which is very powerful, which is in alignment with the whole world, not just with I, me, myself, but with what exactly is happening in the whole world and where the world is moving. And that complete design or plan or wise plan is only given by the Supreme Creator, where he reveals where she reveals or he reveals the complete plan of his creation, what's going to happen in the future, how we need to change our acting and our thinking and our mindset right now, how much we need to be stable in our mind right now to face the future, what exactly is going to come in the future as we face right now. So what is the complete blessing today about? It's going to be about one word which is known as the morally. Morally is not the flute which we play. Morally is the sweet sound of knowledge which we hear on a daily basis in Brahma Kumaris. And it's called as Morali. It's just four pages, sometimes more than that. But it's on a daily basis what we get to hear from the Supreme Creation itself. A daily guidance. For some people they call it as Mahavakya or they call it as Godly Guidance. And this is what we also call it as. It's known as Godly Spiritual words direct from the God. So here God says in today's blessing, may you finish all waste of why it happened, what's happening, how will it happen because all the design of the whole drama has been revealed. You see in Christianity they talk about the revelations, the last chapter. Now is the time of revelation is really going on right now whether you believe it or not. And Brahma Kumari is trying to express and tell everybody that the revelation has already begun in 1937. It already started. Many souls are awakening to that revelation and it's time to awaken. So God says, may you finish all the waste of how, when, what, where by taking this knowledge on a daily basis, on the daily murli and thereby pass with honors. By the way of the daily murli, as I explained, murli means daily godly guidance. God says the daily murli or the godly guidance is a means of keeping your mind busy. Continue to churn the points from the murli. That means there are four pages and in those four pages there's divinity. There's the secret of the whole drama. There's the secret of why, when, what is happening with its political, with its financial, with its mental, with its emotional, with its religious sense everything is covered so it's like complete guidance because god is the highest religious figure god is the highest political figure god is the highest relationship figure to beautify our relationship everything comes from him so if everything comes from him that morally that complete dictation of morally should have every area be covered and even spiritual so god says Continue to churn points from the murli and your mind will remain busy and waste will automatically finish. Keep your mind so busy that you don't have any waste in your thoughts, words or actions. You will then be able to pass the final paper with honors. Now the final paper is what? When the transition time comes, when the time comes from the Kali Yuga or the old world to transition towards Satya Yuga or the new world. That's the time. There's going to be a final paper. There's going to be political, mental, emotional, financial, relationship, and spiritual upheaval all over the world. Are you going to be ready for that? Is the final paper. Are we going to have impure intentions for survival, impure thoughts for survival, impure activities for survival, and impure words just to survive at that moment? It will decide whether we are going to the heaven or we are going to be going to hell. Exactly. 
the final moments of the whole world is going to come at one point of time. It's not going to be like one person leaves, goes to heaven, or the second person is left and gone to heaven. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be the end of the drama and a new beginning. And when that happens, then the final moments come. So it's going to come together for everybody. Some religions have mentioned it as the Samay or the time of Qayamat as for the as for the religion which is known as the Muslim or the Mountain Dharma and as per other religions, Christianity has mentioned the time of Apocalypse, so the end of days simply. And in the Indian tradition or the Bharati tradition, we have the Bhagavad Gita which talks about Mahabharata, the last war. So the last war also mentions the last time and that also mentions about victory over evil and truth shall prevail. So God is talking about you will then be able to pass the final papers with honors but if you have the practice of having waste thoughts, even at that final moment of the world, you will then be deceived at that time. Deceived by what? Instead of being peaceful and calm and in control and powerful, and up here, oh, what's happening to my child? Oh, what about my factory? Oh, what about my shop? Oh, what happened to my house? You see, that is not a stable mind. And that's why God says, practice on a daily basis, reading the Murli, churning the points so that you make it so strong, you make it so powerful. It's like churning milk to make it into butter. That's what we do in Brahma We churn this knowledge to make the butter in our mind of thoughts. So similarly, just like you have Water for your body is healthy. Similarly, water for your mind in terms of knowledge is very healthy for your mind. You too can come and take this beautiful knowledge. I was going to say butter. Yes, beautiful knowledge in Brahma Kumaris for free in 150 countries. And at the same time, you can join us on 5 pm to 6 pm on 13th November and you can take the taste of this beautiful butter. This joining is going to happen between two, two people, and the third person is going to be me. And we're going to have this triathlon and where we're going to discuss about anxiety. You too can come and you can take and this knowledge in terms of the butter, the journey which we do and pass it on to others. This Om Shanti.